Hello everybody, my name is Zen and on my Terraria videos I often get asked questions regarding the console version of the game, such as when will the console version be getting better world generation or in general, when will the console version be getting patch 1.4, which is something that PC players have been enjoying for over a year now. The good news is I have some answers for you and I'll also be giving you a bit of a taste of what 1.4 is going to be like when the console version actually launches. So first, let's start with talking about the release date or at least release window for the console version, which includes PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch, because back in May, which was last month in the uh, official Terraria state of the game post that they do every single month, there was some news regarding this. So I'm going to read off their little post here and that should give you a pretty good idea. It says May is here, bringing with it hotter temps and a steady flow of progress on journeys end for consoles. The team has cleared two more milestone gates since last we checked in with you here and we remain on pace for our previously revealed Q3 2021 launch window, which if you don't know is from the start of July to the end of September essentially. Uh, we can't narrow down that yet at this point as there are still a good number of nebulous pieces on the list where we cannot make a confident prediction either way time wise. We will seek to tighten up the launch timing as soon as we feel good about doing so but for now just know that everything is much in the green in terms of our plans. Which also means just keep an eye on the state of the game for June and potentially we'll have a more specific release date. So now that we have a release window for patch 1.4 on consoles, let's talk about the content that console players are actually going to be getting when the patch launches. The first and foremost one I think is the most important because it's one of the most asked questions that I see, which is uh, what or when is better world generation coming? Well, we know the when, so let's talk about the what. Um, first off, you're going to be getting a bunch of new biome backgrounds and the underground desert has a bunch of changes to it. In fact, the underground desert is much more viable to go into early game, although it is still quite dangerous and I would suggest maybe skipping over it if you're playing on a hardcore character because you don't want to die early to something stupid like, I don't know, any of the enemies in the desert or just drowning under sand. There's also an oasis mini biome which spawns in the desert and it's this cool little oasis pool with palm trees and stuff. They're really quite awesome. There's a bunch of new flowers and lily pads and just in general the game looks really good. In fact, there's a whole new set of weather changes and effects such as uh, wind blowing around trees and leaves and the rain and the thunder look awesome now in 1.4. I enjoy the look of the new biome changes and everything, but that's not all of the changes. It's not just all cosmetic. A lot of it is functional as well. So the dungeon has been redesigned in a pretty good way. There's now fake blocks and you can walk on them, but they sometimes will just automatically disappear. They're, they're basically trap blocks and it will drop you into a giant pit of spikes and everything. And it makes the dungeon feel quite a bit more dynamic, which I tend to like. On top of that, you have just new traps in general within the world, such as the dead man's chest which is basically a chest that if you walk over to it, uh, it's completely set with a bunch of traps. And if you open it, you know, you're going to have three or four boulders land on your head. There's going to be an explosion of TNT and there's a bunch of like things that get shot at you. It's pretty crazy. There's also a bunch of fruit that come from the trees now. So like you might be able to get a lemon for instance. Um, and it just makes the world feel quite a bit more dynamic. There's You're always getting new stuff and the world just feels that much larger. As far as the actual like biomes and world gen, they've way increased the world gen speed. And this should be coming as a nice little change for for console players, especially if you're playing on like a PS4 or an Xbox One or even the Nintendo Switch, when you make a new world, it will generate far faster than it did before. The ice biome generates further away from spawn and deserts are less frequent, but they're also a bit larger. So you, you get more desert, but less of them, um, if that makes any sense. The underground mushroom is much larger and has been redesigned in some cases, I've noticed. 
in a few of the worlds that I've been playing in, in 1.4, the mushroom biome can be bigger, but you sometimes come across little tiny ones too. And uh, it's not as great, but for the most part, it is significantly bigger. The marble biome is no longer just a giant square. Uh, rain takes on the look of whatever biome you're in. So, you know, say you're in the crimson, the rain will be red rather than the normal blue, which is nice. Sunflowers also now block the spread of hallowed. Uh, wood chests have a chance to have wood inside of them. Sandstorms are less uh, common, and they also don't really happen that often early in the game. It's just all of this stuff in general makes the world feel larger, more dynamic, and more natural. Because with all of this changes to how you know the, the biome spawn or the biomes in general it makes the world look a lot better they changed like all the weird holes in the world that would normally spawn during world gen in 1.3 and also they polished up you know, some of the back walls and how all of that looks so in general the world is a lot better outside of world generation you have an absolute truckload of items that have been added to the game there are so many new items but i think for me the biggest highlights are that the summoner class has now been revamped and is way more viable so there's a whole new set of armor heck even the obsidian armor now has summoner benefits on it so there's a reason to get that armor early on in the game um, you can find a finch staff early on which gives you uh, a, a little summon pet and if you play in the ner new journey mode which is basically um like creative mode in a way you still have to work for everything it's not like creative mode in in minecraft where you just get a bunch of stuff and you can make whatever the heck you want it's more like as you're playing in journey mode you're collecting items like say you have to collect 100 dirt blocks and then you put it into your little journey mode thing and you research them and now you're able to spawn as many dirt blocks as you want so you actually have to work for this stuff in journey mode but if you're playing a journey mode character you get a finch staff like right off the bat there's also a, a set of wings that you get right off the bat which makes getting around a, a little better they're not great wings but they're better than having nothing and then with the summoner class stuff you also have things like whips that have been added which is a new weapon type and the whips will cause your your summons to focus on a particular target there's just an absolute truckload of new items like i said earlier including new weapons new armor new consumables it's out of this world insane with how much 1.4 actually adds in terms of content. And that's not even mentioning the quality of life changes that they added into the game, such as being able to just make a bed and sleep in it and it speed up time rather than you just sitting there like like a dummy <laughs> like you can actually skip over daytime or nighttime periods just by sleeping in your bed which is not something that you could have done in previous versions of terraria at least definitely not early on in the game and then there's a bunch of other things changed with bosses and just how invasions or um, some of the events work and they're just all rebalanced and in general i would say 1.4 is far far better than any other version of the game that came before it and that is because i think you know the terraria team the relogic team has learned so much over the years that they've put all that experience into one update and just made this the capstone of what this game could be if you're interested in seeing more terraria 1.4 stuff i have a hardcore master mode playthrough that i'm doing in uh, in patch 1.4 and you can check that out in the description there'll be a link to it there and I'll also put it in the comments as well on top of that i played recently a whole modded series in 1.3 as i wait for t mod loader which is the way to play mods on pc to update to 1.4 and i'll put the link to that series as well but thank you all for watching, and if you want to see more videos, especially Terraria videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I upload daily videos for all different types of games, mostly RPGs and things like Terraria. And I haven't missed a day uploading in almost 10 years. But with all of that being said, thank you again for watching, and we shall see you guys next time.